It's just a couple more minutes of your time. A couple more minutes of your time. In, uh, in this day and age with... Hello? Just a couple of seconds of your time, please. In this day and age of shared economies, the Liberal Party is ahead of the curve on that. Uh, as Rhonda mentioned, she's sharing an office with Johanna Wood. It's her opening today as well, and she'd like to say a couple words too, if she could have your attention. Yep. She's my teammate, and she's fabulous, Johanna Wood. Yeah, I don't know how to follow that. Our leader, Rhonda Bercari, our leader of the next province, I'm so honored to be sharing this office with you, and thank you for letting me join you in this journey. This is a very exciting day. When I'm looking around the office right now, I'm seeing friends, I'm seeing supporters, and most of all, I'm seeing hope. When Rana asked me uh, about a year ago to put my name on the ballot, I said, you're crazy. <laughs> no, no that's, that, this is, that's something politicians do, and I'm not a politician, so why would I do that? But Rana said, she really challenged me and said, what does a politician actually look like? And it actually, I had to take a really hard look. I had to take a look at my life and what does a politician look like? I had a stereotype in my head. Like many in my generation, I've grown up with the same leaders for decades. So, and that is just what I thought politicians were. And I thought politics was disconnected from community. And I was a community-minded person. I've been always involved in community and always helping people. That's something that's been very important to me. So, Rhonda challenged me to look at my own perceptions of what politics looks like and, uh, and take a real hard look at uh, what the future of this province looks like. So, for me, it was an honor to be able to put my name on the ballot, to be a representative for the community, and also the best part about it has been to see the support that's come out ever since. Uh, so, Rhonda, I would follow you into the fire. Okay. <laughs> Looks, speaks, sounds, ideas over ideology. That is huge for me. I never thought that I would be the person involved in politics. It, for me, it had always been about helping people and bringing the best ideas forward. I'm so happy to find that home with the Liberal Party. I'm happy to see that people can come with their concerns, with their ideas, and they're addressed and they're built into the policies. It has been very exciting to talk to people on the doorsteps. It has been very exciting to meet the people that have come forward to help and support this. Um, I, I can't, for me, I can't describe what this feels like April 19th, but I know it is good. I look around in the room and I see that it is going to be good. Manitoba is going to have new leadership. Mani the, the team that Rana, you have built, I am proud every day to be part of that team. Every single day. The volunteers, it's the people that are donating, and it's the people that have put their name on the ballot, too. I'm so proud to work beside you guys. I'm so proud to be part of this team. I'm so proud every day when I get to go to the door and I hear that feedback from people, hear the feedback from voters, and see the momentum on the ground. We can feel it. I can feel yeah, it. Rhonda, yeah, this yeah. is because of you. You started with a dream. Nobody believed you. You worked, you worked, you worked, you worked, and you're still working. And it's going to pay off. And I'm so happy to be part of this. Thank you so much.